Tiger asks, how do I rip instrumentals or vocals from a song? Is there a software like that? Yes, there is. It's called Audacity. It works for Linux, Mac, and Windows. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to rip vocals off any MP3 using Audacity. If you don't already have this program, I provide a link in the description. Or you can just search for it on Google. Uh, all I need to do is have Audacity and have a MP3. And I can just drag and drop the MP3 into Audacity and import MP3 file. It'll take a second and then it'll finish and I'll have the MP3 in Audacity. Now I can select a random segment from the song and play it just so you know that it's not actually, um, that the vocals are there. Okay, now to remove the vocals. The first step is simply to select the downward arrow here and select Split Stereo Track. It's going to split the tracks into individual audio tracks that I can edit. Uh, the next step is to select the second track that says right. Just click anywhere right here and it's going to gray out the track. It's going to make it a little bit more gray than the top one and that means everything in the track is selected. If you only get one track that means you're uh, trying to open a mono song, you need to have the song in stereo for this effect to work. If, the, if you have the audio in mono format, please check the description. I might have more information there on how to remove vocals on mono. Okay, as I said, just click anywhere under the title pretty much and go to effect. We're going to apply the effect to remove the vocals and the effect is invert. I just select invert. I wait for the filter to apply. And now that's pretty much it. There's only one last step. I'm going to set both tracks to mono. To do that, I again select the down arrow here and select mono. Again, the down arrow and select mono. And that's it. I can go to any part of the song and see if it removed the vocals. Okay, they're still there, but they're barely audible. They're barely audible. Uh, another thing I can do is I can save it and open it so that it's only one track and I can apply the effect uh, to amplify in the negative direction. I have to select everything first. Amplify and then make it softer. That way it loses data on basically the softest part, the, ver the, the, the parts that have the lowest volume or the voice tracks and then I can amplify it up again 